Hey everyone, so today I have a couple of videos I'm going to film tonight, but the first one's going to be my update for my rolling five pan. Um, I have finished up another product, so that's pretty exciting, and then I have a new one to add in, so let's start there. Um, the product I finished up is the Ulta Eyeshadow. This is the single I've been working on for like over a year, <laughs> or I think roughly a year. Anyway, it's um, the shade called Bone. It was a matte cream shade. It is all gone. This is just like a stain you know, from, like you can see there's no product on my finger. Um, but yeah, so this is all done. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm just going to toss that in my empties. Uh, I just made a great catch in case you didn't even know it, but I did. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to mention that um, the new shade, this isn't like officially in the project yet. I'm sure at one point it will be. But I've moved on to, I did depot shades for my Naked 3 palette. Um, so this is Strange. That's the one I'm going to be using as my cream shade now. Um, my plan is to just pan all the cream matte shades I have in my collection and then probably buy like Wet n Wild Brulee. But anyway, yeah, so I just want to mention that quick. I did depot, had a couple of little casualties, but I did depot these guys from the Naked 3 plus that one. Um, so yeah, anyway, I did finish up that eyeshadow, which is really cool. Um, and then the product I added in to replace it is going to be this Scandinavia, the makeup primer spray. This is for oil control. I really enjoy this product. It's quick, easy. You just spritz it on your face. It works. It does minimize my... Um, like oiliness I think and it also just helps keep my makeup on a little bit longer so it does what I want in a primer um, I would probably repurchase this again I really like it in the summer because in the summer I don't want like layers of creamy products on my skin I want something light and this is refreshing so um, I just want to finish up there's not much in here um, I did weigh it the whole packaging plus the product inside is at 42 grams I think this will probably be done by the next update like Honestly, I don't think that there's that much in it. I can't really see in. I've tried. Um, but, yeah, so this is the new item. The other items I have going, let's start with the longest running one. <laughs> this is my Makeup Geek Nude Eyeliner. This is what I use in my waterline. Anyone who's ever panned a nude eyeliner and they only use it in, water, in the waterline knows that it takes forever to use up. Um, so this is where I am at right here. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I mean... I sharpen it probably once a week, maybe once every two weeks. I just use it in my waterline area, and that's that. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy with it. It's still performing the way I want it to, so I have no problems with it. The other eyeliner I have is the Laura Geller Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Blue Moon. Um, I do have it on today. It's been the only eyeliner I've been using since I officially put it in this project. That's how much I have left, so it's really not that much. Um, when I hold it up against my little card here, you can see um, there's just not that. Oh, wait, where am I? There. There's not that much left. Um, I think, I don't know, it might be done by the next update or it might be done like a week or two after the next update, you know. Um, it just kind of depends. I do wear eyeliner pretty much every day that I wear makeup. Um, so I don't think, there's not like I'm struggling to use this product. I like it. Um, so yeah, that is my eyeliner. I do set it with shadow. So like today I set it with a gray shadow, so it doesn't really look blue. Um, sometimes I use black, sometimes I use purple, whatever I'm feeling, um, anything works with it. So, and then the other product, this is one that I added in last time. This is the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. That's kind of a long name. Anyway, um, this is where I was last time. There's kind of like a blue line right there. I know it's hard to see because it's on the black part of the packaging. This is where I'm at now. So I've made some good progress. This is my everyday foundation. It's what I have a, had on all day today. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's working just fine. It works how I want it to. I have no problems with it. So I think this has maybe like a month or two left in it. Um, I'm not going to go crazy and like scrape it all out or anything. Just once it gets to the point where it's too difficult to use, I'll call it done. Um, I definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of it. And I have other foundations in my collection that I want to pull out and use too. So yeah, that's, that's that. I mean, I'm not sick of it. And then the last product I have is a bronzer. This is the Jane bronzer. Um, I have... So I hit pan on this originally and then it broke so then I repressed it and now I have hit pan again as you can see there's some pan showing in there. Um, so yeah my goal is to finish this up. I don't think it'll be an issue. It's 
I don't know, it's the bronzer I've been using every day. I only have one other bronzer in my collection. Um, so that's kind of like the nice thing about downsizing your collection is finally get to the point where like if you only want to focus on one product, you don't feel like you have like a thousand other things that are just wasting away. Like I can balance two bronzers. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is that. Um, we'll see. I think this probably has a month or two left in it. Like, it's really thin where the pan is, but then some of these outer areas are still pretty, like, thick. So, we'll just see what happens. You know, I'll just use it up when I use it up. So, that's my um, Rolling 5 Pan uh, Project Pan update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you're panning. If you're doing a Rolling 5 Pan, let me know how that's going, or Rolling whatever number pan. I really like the rolling aspect. It's just been so manageable. That's the word. Um, so, anyway... <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to stop talking now and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.